And welcome back to www.learnquickbooksfree.com Lesson B, Part 2, Accounts Payable. Now Vendor 1. So Vendor 1, uh, you got that one on 520. The amount, let's say, is going to be $29.50. Okay, let's say $35.00. Okay. Actually, you know what? What we're going to do for this one, since it has a net 30, I'm going to make it $350. Net 30. And basically, for this one, I'm going to do cost of goods sold. So I'm going to lower this over here and I'm going to find my cost of goods sold. Because usually, vendors that give you terms are usually vendors that give you something to resell. So if you're reselling something, it would be under cost of goods sold. Remember, this name over here can be changed to whatever you want it could be um, tools it could be anything you want but the idea is the account is cost of goods sold um, and then there you go now under customer job we're gonna leave that blank once again and I'm gonna hit save and new and now I'm gonna go to vendor 2 okay and let's do this one for 521 and let's go ahead and do this for $35 okay same now it's going to bring up due on receipt Now you can always switch that if normally you have due on receipt with this vendor and for some reason they on one invoice they decide to give you net 30 then you can switch that to net 30 okay or net 15 whatever that may be and when you hit tab okay and then when you uh, actually not tab but when you save it it's going to ask you something I'm going to show you what is what it's going to ask you and you have an option whether to change the default or just make it a one time so let's say under this one, we're going to go ahead and say that this was business cards. Business cards is going to most likely go under printing, printing and production. So if I already start typing PIR, nothing is coming up. So I already know that it's not in there. So I'm going to go ahead and create an expense account. And this is why I say you can create as you go along. So I'm going to type in printing and production. And I'm going to hit tab and it's going to bring up this little box. I'm going to hit setup it is an expense and under printing and production now it's not a sub account of anything and uh, you can put a description if you want to I usually leave these blank I'm gonna hit save and close and here's what I'm gonna show you about customer job if you are doing a uh, if you have various projects that you want to basically account for uh, expenses this is where customer jobs would come in. So for example, if you have project A, project B, and project C. Let's say this business card is for project A. So under customer job, I would do project A. And then I would just do a quick add. And I usually check off billable. And the reason why you want to do that is down the line when you want to do reports, uh, you can do a reports based off all the expenses that go to project A. And that way you can budget and see what what you actually spent on a specific project so this is optional but this is a great tool I'll learn to use it on on uh, entering bills so now I'm gonna hit save a new and there you go you have changed the terms for vendor do for vendor 2 would you like to have this information appear next time I'm gonna hit no because I want net 30 to be the default okay and there you go we have just entered three bills okay so now that we've entered three bills, if we want to, you know, either cut some checks or see what we owe, we now go to vendor and pay bills. And there you go. This is basically going to now show you the three bills that we entered. Okay, the three invoices. Okay, and it's going to tell you the due date over here. You don't have to cut it on the due date. You can cut it way bef way ahead of time. Uh, but once again. Uh, this is a guideline that will tell you uh, everything that's payable so let's go ahead and choose the first one because that was due on receipt it is due right now and this is where I select payment date and I'm gonna choose today as the payment date today's 530 and as far as the type of payment we can either pay it by credit card or we can pay it by check so if you're gonna pay the vendor by credit card you select credit card check by check let's do check 
Now for check, if you are going to go ahead and manually write the check, uh, then you would do assign check number and you can actually assign what check number and just handwrite the check. If you're going to use the print feature, then you do it under to be printed. And then you choose the account that it comes out of. So if, if it's credit card, you will notice that this changed to one of your two credit cards. But if you do checking, it goes back to one of the Wells Fargo's account. And since it's a checking, we're going to choose the checking account. <clears throat> you know, they come up with little different tips. I always do do not display this in the future. And there you go, pay selected bills. And now that you've done that, <clears throat> uh, you can either assign a check number or you just hit, simply hit OK. Now the reason why there's no check numbers that are coming up is because uh, we haven't started anything with checks yet. But right now I'm just going to hit done and I'm going to go to banking and I'm going to go to write checks and I'm going to go ahead and choose the checking account that I set up and I'm going to hit previous and as you can see when I hit previous it brought up the check that I go that I went ahead and submitted. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put to be printed um, if you want if you have a default in there but if not I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to put the check number 1001 for example then I'm going to hit print do you want to record your changes now you have to hit yes and then there you go it's going to ask you print check number we're going to start off with 1001 and there you go and then you choose your your printer I'm not going to do that right now but you're going to choose your printer you're going to hit print depending on what type of a uh, uh, check styles uh, you have as well whether you have a voucher standard or wallet okay but right now I'm just gonna get, go ahead and hit cancel and let's just go ahead and pretend that I printed this out check number 1001 I'm gonna hit save and close and there you go I just went ahead and printed off one check And if I go back to vendor and pay bills as you will see there's only two left now okay that one is gone so that's how you basically go ahead and enter invoices and then pay them now once again you don't always have to do enter bill and pay bill if you're gonna go ahead and cut someone a check on the spot and it's for you know something that you don't feel needs to go through this process uh, you can go ahead and simply cut through the red tape go to banking go to write checks and I'm gonna go ahead and choose the checking account I'm gonna uncheck to be printed or you know what let's leave it checked for now let's see what happens and on 530 and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut a check to the pizza man okay let's say we ordered some pizza for an office party and it is an expense because it's for an office party so let's go ahead and just do pizza company now obviously we don't have that under vendors yet but what I'm gonna do under that is I'm gonna then hit tab and once again it's gonna ask me do you want a quick ad or do you want a setup in this case I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick ad because it's the local pizza guy I'm not mailing the check I'm just cutting it and giving it to him that's assuming uh, the, the local pizza guy takes checks so there you go I'm gonna set it up as a, as a vendor and I'm gonna go ahead and put eight seventeen dollars and fifty five cents for the office okay and now I'm gonna hit tab tab I'm gonna write pizza party for office and under accounts uh, this would uh, go under meals okay so meals and entertainment so there you go that account is already set up as a default and there you go now I'm gonna hit print and when I hit print it did not br bring up one zero zero two uh, because I technically speaking haven't used the print feature yet so in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and just do manually 1002 I'm gonna hit save and new you have changed the transaction do you want to record yes I do once again do not display and there you go so this is another way of cutting checks uh, you know directly and not having to go through the enter and pay bill system okay And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.